starting point for stage four of the Battle on the Border is the luxury oceanfront alcove of Salt Village. Here you'll find luxury homes overlooking the surf and five-star international resorts. Bike riding is a favourite pastime thanks to an off-road cycleway that follows the beach from Kingsliff to Cabarita, then joining up to a bike path along the Tweed Valley Way to Pottsville. Stage four of the Battle on the Border today, leaving from Salt Village, heading out through the beautiful Burring Bar Ranges again for the girls today. Another very exciting race, a tough competition coming up, some tricky descents, it has been raining this morning on and off. They will then return here to Salt Village this morning for the conclusion of their Battle on the Border weekend. I think we're in for another great race today. Today's the last day for me to still, uh, still back the GC, the yellow jersey, so um, yeah, our team specialised security, we're going to give everything we've got in this last stage. They started today from Salt Village and left uh, overnight leader Tessa Fabry from the VIS team, staying protected and well looked after. I guess we've just got to be defensive, um, just make sure that I'm staying in good position, um, making sure nothing gets away. Early on we saw Lizzie Williams from the Specialised Securator team in second place overall by only 21 seconds. Super aggressive out on the course, attacking sp intermediate sprint stages and KOM points. It's achievable that I can go for both the um, Queen of the Mountain and the sprint and so I thought I would. At the 46 kilometre mark, total rush rider Veretta Stewart broke away with a small 30 second gap. Working well by herself and uh, doing a top ride today, that gap grew to over a minute. She was away to about the 69 kilometre mark. A group of three, Emma Viotta, Rebecca Heath and Shannon Malsey joined Veretta Stewart. On the approach to Salt Village, they held a small 25 second gap over the main peloton. My team worked so well together, they got on the front, there was no one else willing to work, so it was up to us to bring back the break and we finally caught them at, at about 600 metres to go. Inside the final kilometre, Emma Viotto had a crash almost taking down Lizzie Williams. Her back wheel slid out and I almost went over the top of her, I had to veer to the right. As they approached the line the slippery corners were no match for the bicycle superstore rider Rebecca Heath. Second place was the specialised girl Lizzie Williams and the teammate of the leader Christy Glover finished out third place. Amazing, really really exciting, really exciting. It's my first NRS win so I'm thrilled. So after four stages of the Battle of the Border for the NRS women, the overall winner was Tessa Fabry from the VIS by a slim margin of nine seconds to the specialised rider Lizzie Williams, a further one minute and five seconds back. Up and coming young 17 year old Annalisa Hull, a great weekend for her and an exciting result for all three girls. After the 2014 Battle on the Border weekend, Ruth Corset will still hold her overall Subaru National Road Series lead. Our final stage today, leaving Salt Village, 137 kilometres for the NRS men. Out and back, they will do two loops around the Burring Bar Ranges and Mooball area. Uh, Joe Cooper, the overnight leader, still safe in the leader's classification jersey. We'll wait and see what happens later today. A bit of opportunity out there, so we'll be, we'll be giving it a crack. and um, Yeah, we won't go down without a fight for sure. We've got one of the strongest teams in the NRS and we can really do anything. As they left Salt Village, they started at a frantic pace, speeds topping out well over 60 kilometres an hour. Early on at the 24 kilometre break, a small break went of three riders. Morgan Smith from the Charter Mason team, Daniel Barry from Team Budget Forklifts and Jackson Malby from the Saddlers Giant Racing Team got a gap out of about a minute 20 over the main group. Today we saw Team Budget Forklift rider Tim Rowe super aggressive and trying to claw back 29 seconds from the leader. It was kind of a budget of anti battle, so that kind of left a little bit of opportunity for smaller teams to get away. Teammates, though, Jack Haig of Joe Cooper, were uh, counteracting the budget forklift rider's attacks and kept him within check across the challenging course. The early attack was wheeled in by the main group, and at the 67 kilometre mark, another small group of five broke away off the front of the main field. Budget just kept chucking and chucking guys up the road to the point where we were getting a bit uh, bit tired. The breakaway of five managed to stay away for a remaining 50 kilometres before being wheeled in and Avanti race team really showed their dominance across this weekend. They did a lot of the work to try and bring the break back. We managed to just remain calm and you know we 
just stuck together as a tight unit and yeah we just decided that we'd just take control of the whole bunch for the running and yeah just tried to control it as best as we could. At the 118 kilometre mark it all came back together and with seven kilometres to go a solo rider broke away Fraser Goff from Data 3 Symantec team. After all his hard work he had enough time to celebrate and Fraser Goff from the Data 3 team enjoyed the technical corners and the approach to Salt Village. He had time to celebrate his first NRS win and his first for his team. A really big day for him. As the bunch entered the Salt Village it was fast and exciting. Second across the line today was Byron Simpson and third was James Mowat. It was great. I've had um, yeah, not the greatest tour but yeah, today really capped it off. I finally, find, finally found some legs and yeah, really stoked first uh, NRS win. So in summary for the 2014 Battle on the Border Joseph Cooper took out the win from the Avanti race team, his teammate Mark O'Brien second and Jack Haig in third place. The closest rider to the Avanti race team dominance was budget forklift rider Tim Rowe in fourth place.